Ubuntu 20-10, Groovy Gorilla, just how groovy is this? It is so groovy that, okay, well, there's a joke in there somewhere, but I have, I have no idea. All right, my friends, welcome back. This is the latest release from the team at Canonical. This is Ubuntu 20.10. Let's go ahead and take a look at the terminal here. We'll just type in dash uh, uname, that is space dash r. This is Linux kernel 5.8.0 dash 20. Very good. So if you are new to all this, keep in mind that this is these interim releases are supported for only nine months. So this is not something I would install to use every day, unless, of course, you have a spare machine or running this off a live USB stick like I am. Uh, I'm looking at the resolution isn't quite right, but you know what? It's good enough for testing it. I mean, like you're not going to break anything. You can test this off a live USB stick without having to touch or erase your Windows 10 if that is currently what you are using. So let's run through this real quick and see what we have here. A new feature of this is the restart button with a restart feature in the system tray in the drop down menu there. That is something new. On the app grid, you can now uh, bunch these up together into uh, folders as you see here. This is this is something new and you, this is okay and you can move these around and that's fine personally myself i like uh, the extension i believe the gnome extension called applications menu i do believe and if you are completely new to this to make this easier moving these around uh for your suited for your taste is perfectly fine but i would try something called the applications menu in terms of an extension i did have to install obs studio to make this uh, to record all, all this uh and it works just fine. Simple screen recorder would have been perfectly fine. Also, again, the app grid here, uh, th th this is all standard fare here. I'm not seeing anything unusual. Let's take a look at the Ubuntu Software Center. Now, this is one way to install and delete uh, applications. Myself, I prefer the Synaptic Package Manager. But as we look here, it looks like we have a couple of updates. Since I'm running this off a live USB stick for testing, uh, I don't think I will update anything. Again, just for testing. So yeah, nothing really unusual uh, there. Let's go ahead and move along. You, you hit the super key and it brings up the open windows. As I stated, I did uh, install the Synaptic Package Manager. This is a powerful tool, uh, one of the best for installing and deleting software. Once you become a little bit more experience you may want to take a look at the synaptic package manager versus the ubuntu software center you can use both uh i do I, I don't really have to but you can certainly use both if you want to again synaptic package manager i've been using that one while wow, since 2006. let's take a look at the settings here and uh nothing unusual there the time format let's go to am pm all right and let's move along here to the left we have some favorites to the left including thunderbird i use this quite a bit in both linux and windows so when somebody contributes to the channel i get a a notification so thank you let's see this is thunderbird version 78.3.1 uh one thing i forgot to mention this is only available ubuntu the, the latest ubuntu is only available in a 64-bit the home folder, I believe this is Nautilus. Again, nothing unusual here. I'm not too crazy about the default uh, colors, by the way. Anyway, the Ubuntu desktop guide, one of the best. Definitely take a look at that if you are new to all this. Let's move along here and uh, see what else we have. We have the ubiquitous Rhythmox. Uh, I've been playing with this also since 2006, since I first tested and tried my first Linux-based system based off Ubuntu, of course. of course. The ubiquitous LibreOffice. I use this also in uh, Windows and uh, Linux. And yeah, this is uh, somewhat of a replacement for Microsoft Works or Microsoft Excel. Again, the time and date at the top. You know, as I go through this, I'm not really seeing any, anything, any major uh, changes here. One thing I, that I, I wish this had, when you look at the scaling here between 100 and 200%, I wish there was something in the middle, like 150, 125. This does have fractional scaling, and that's okay. The one thing about fractional scaling, when I turn that on, I have noticed 
lower speed. It does say here you may also uh, notice reduced display sharpness, increased power usage. I really haven't noticed that, but it will slow down a bit. So this is my only gripe with this. I wish there was something in the middle standard between 100 and 200%. All right, connectivity, location, Thunderbolt, file history, and trash. This is under the uh, um, the privacy settings, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can run through this, clear the history, delete all temporary files, and so on and so forth. Screen lock, the usual here, diagnostics. Again, nothing out of the ordinary here. You can send error reports to Canonical to help them out. You can leave this to automatic if you so choose to, or send them nothing and leave it on the never tab this this looks good it i'm sure it's going to be stable again it's only for uh, nine months so if this is something you want to use every day i will look at the previous version which is 20.04 supported i believe for up to five years but as far as this goes if you are new and you wanted to test it why not just create a usb bootable stick and you are good to go Join us on the next live chat. I'll catch you on the next one. Arrivederci. If you